Okay, guys, welcome back to another episode of Schofield Weld, and thank you for everybody that's been watching the the bed build on day one and two. Um, <clears throat> we're a few, we're we're quite a ways farther into it than one and two right now. But guys, this is all coming uh, in different parts. But for this video, we're going to show you how we built this drawer. I, I got most of it, but I don't know what happened to some of the footage. Anyways, I got most of it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and then uh, at the end, we're going to go through, and I'm going to kind of explain. Uh, some of the missing parts that are in that video. So anyways guys, thank you for everything you do Don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment and tell us what you guys think of the bed build so far. See you in a bit Guys, so let's talk a little bit about what I got going on here. Um, I got 22 inch sliders. These are rated to 100 pounds each uh, So what I'm going to do is I'm actually doubling up on the sliders So there will be two on each side of the drawer Which should bring up the weight quite a bit now, this is one slider that's already been hooked in. It's ready to go. But the way I did it is in case this ever breaks, see the way it's going to be welded on, and you'll see as we weld it on, you're never going to be able to get to the back side of this again. So it's actually going to be welded to the frame. So I threaded in the nuts and then tacked. I tacked all of these in so that uh, if you ever had to replace this front, all you gotta do is just do it from here. You just take them out, done deal. Now it is gonna take a little bit of heat because I'm using the red Loctite. Now I never want this thing to rattle loose. It just, it wouldn't be good, all right? It just would not be good. So uh, using the red Loctite and making sure that everything stays in place. So let's go ahead and get this one put in now. Okay guys, just to explain this just a little bit better to give you an idea of what we're doing. So right here I've got I've got all the bolts put in and they and I've just tightened them up, hand tightened them with the uh, with the nuts on the back. This way you know that, you know, if it goes through the hole, it's going to go through the nut. So then I tighten them up and then what I'm going to do, I'm just going to run a little tack. Don't weld the whole thing out cuz then you'll seize them up in there, you'll never get them out. <clears throat> but um I'll just run a little, like, you know, maybe a little quarter inch little tack on each one of these just so that they um, stay. And then uh, I'll let it cool all the way down and then uh, then we'll back them out and put our, uh, put our sliders on. So that's kind of the plan right now. Okay, let it cool all the way down, and then uh, and then we'll take these off and put our sliders on. All right, guys, let's start putting these together.
tall for an eighth inch tweak, but Judas, that's pretty close. Like, I'm pretty happy with that, so we're just gonna leave it. That pride just took care of it. So. Oh, so you just made it the edges? So this is the top. Oh, so, and you'll fill the drawer fit in there. Yep. Got it. So this is going to sit flush. Sweet. Okay guys, so I brought you back into the shop. Just for a second, just to kind of explain kind of what we're gonna be doing here. Now, this is the side of the box that is actually gonna be the drawer. And so, what we gotta figure out is when these are fully closed, we want these to be just off the back. We want a 3 16 door, so I gotta go get a piece of 3 16 real quick and then check and make sure it's gonna fit. I'm gonna go take 3 16 off of both of these really quick because what's gonna happen is we actually have, we have an eighth inch piece of plate in the back, which is gonna be the backer to the box or to the drawer. So that's gonna push it out another eighth inch and then I don't really want the lip coming out past this because the way it's going to be set up is I'm pretty sure I'm going to weld this to the back of the skirt and then we'll build the drawer. I'm thinking my way through this right now. It's going to look freaking sweet. No, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark 5 eighths of an inch on this side and then we'll roll these out and I'll be able to line them up with it and that's going to push us out an eighth of an inch for the backer piece but uh, and then give us the ability to mark where our pieces go. Okay guys, the other thing we have to do is we need to make sure we got our floor um, because these pieces are going to be sitting up to where we can make really good welds all the way around just a small little uh, small little, well, I don't know what it is. Anyway, just a small little weld right there. And um, so we gotta make sure we add that into it. So we're gonna push it up underneath here. I'm gonna mark this back five eighths of an inch so that we know that that's where we need to be. Five eighths. Five eighths.
Okay guys, like I said in that video, I don't know what happened to the last part of that when we were welding on the front and the bottom. Don't mind the dog. Uh, it's been raining out here. It's cold, so we put the dogs in the shop just to keep them dry and, and nice. But uh, anyways, she won't be quiet. Anyways, uh, so I'm going to bring you into this up, up here close to the video and kind of explain some of the parts that are missing on it and hopefully it all makes sense. Okay guys, so in that video you can see this thing, it works really well. But anyways, there's the whole box. Um, it is welded between the two frames, which is then sat right on top of where the spare tire is. So you can still put your spare tire under there and whatever else, but pretty big box. There are gonna be a couple adjustments on the prints that, uh, that I didn't take into account for this. So it's actually just a little bit too deep. If I'd have shortened it up about a half an inch, it would be a little bit better. But so basically what it is, is we put an eighth inch floor or, or 10 gauge, and then there's 10 gauge back, 10 gauge sides. And then I got a 3 16 front. Um, the reason I put 3 16 in the front is just to keep it from wanting to warp as we, as we weld it out. Um, it does sit flush and there will be a handle on this. But anyways, guys, that's kind of, uh, that's kind of how we built the drawer. There is no bottom on this, so the drawer is the bottom. There is the sides and then the top. So, so far it has been dumping out here every day and we have had no, it's not wet anywhere in here. <clears throat> it stayed hundred percent dry, which uh, very pleased with, so. Anyways, guys, that's kind of the ending of that bed build. We hope you enjoy it. We'll talk to you here in a bit. Be blessed.